Welcome back. So we've seen binary encoding and we've seen a small example, the knapsack problem. Now we move on to what is known as the permutation encoding. Uh, permutation encoding can be used in ordering problems. So problems where the order of things is the solution, the right? We, the solution will be a certain order of a group of things, right? Such as, for example, the well-known traveling salesman problem or maybe task ordering problem. So in permutation encoding, every chrome, I, I hope everyone knows what permutation is, right? Permutation is just the, set or the order of things. In permutation encoding, every chromosome is a string of numbers which represent, basically, represents a, a num a numbers in, 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 a, in a sequence, right? So every string represents numbers in a sequence. For example, this is example chromosome, one five three two six da 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 and the other one maybe is eight five da 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 right the permutation encoding is only useful for ordering problems right so if you see just uh, in the next example when i i'm sorry in the next slide when i explain the traveling salesman problem uh you will understand hopefully what the why the order is is actually important now let's have a look at what the traveling salesman problem is well the problem says that there are cities, right, and all cities are connected to each other. So, for example, if we have three cities, A, B, and C, then A will be connected to B and C, uh, B will be connected to B and C, B will be connected to A and C, and C will be connected to B and A. Basically, from any city, you can go to any other city, yeah? So, that's only three, but if the number is 30 or 50, then it becomes more complicated, right? Much more complicated. So, we have a group of cities, and from each one we can move to another city, and that for that we have a certain distance or a certain penalty or a certain cost, right? So between each city and the other one, there is a distance or a cost. Now the traveling salesman has to visit visit all of them, so he needs to visit all of them, but he does not want to travel very much. So basically, what we try to do is get the traveling salesman to go through all the cities move one, from one city to another without visiting the same city twice and with the least cost with the smallest cost or the sm or within the shortest distance i hope that makes sense so we'll find a sequence of cities to minimize the travel distance right right so from you can look at these and you can say okay for example we have nine cities and let's say we can start a city one then go to city five then three two six four seven nine eight or maybe another sequence can be we start at a city eight then from eight we go to five remember we said all cities are connected to all other cities right so each city is connected to all other cities eight from eight to five from city five to city six city six to city seven and so on and so forth and between each city and the other there's a cost and there's a distance and the idea is to have the sequence that minimizes that distance All right. so the chromosome says the order of the cities as we mentioned the order in which the traveling salesman uh, has to travel uh, basically in which the traveling salesman will visit them now the java code example i'm going to provide is very similar to this but we won't be doing cities we'll just have something similar to the stuff we had before something similar to this but now instead of having two groups of short dashes will have 10 dashes that form one long dashed line but will scramble the order and then we we'll let genetic algorithm uh, find the right order so we can actually have the coordinates of the of the um, the full the whole dashed line right so we can find this point and this point and in there, as I said, we'll try to keep track of the best solution. So if we don't find the right order, the, the, the right solution, at least we will find the best um, uh, solution, right? So let me stop here. In the next video, I'll be speaking about value encoding. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.